A very good morning class. We are starting with science and technology. We are continuing with the chapter that we started in the earlier class. Chapter number 4, Environmental Management. We will do a small recap of what we have done in the earlier class. We came across a term called as environment. We also studied about ecology. We studied about various ecosystems that are there in the environment. We studied about environmental conservation. We studied about environmental pollution and what factors are affecting the environment. We studied about reasons of pollution and also we studied about radioactive pollution. In today's class, we will continue with the chapter. Need for Environmental Conservation Why is it necessary for us to conserve the environment? Because it prevents environmental damage. The damage that is causing the environment, we should prevent it. We should stop environmental damage. We should stop or we should find an alternative. We should find a solution to all the artificial and natural problems that the environment is facing. Damage caused in the environment due to artificial factors or damage caused to the environment due to natural factors. We should find a solution to it. We should reduce the impact of pollution. If we take an initiative to reduce pollution, then the impact of pollution will also be reduced and it will prevent global warming as well. We should conserve our biodiversity. Biodiversity is widely observed in sanctuaries, in national parks, in forest areas. So what should we do? We should conserve those areas where there are huge varieties of plants, animals, herbs, birds, medicinal plants. All these are observed in these areas. So what should we do? We should conserve or we should take care that there is no damage caused to these areas. We should maintain balance in the nature. We should limit the use of natural resources and without using it, you know, we should limit ourselves that we have got natural resources, how wisely we can use it, how, how can we limit the use of these particular resources. By limiting the use of these resources, we can create a balance in the nature. When we study about con need for conservation, the government of India has also taken initiative to conserve the environment. And while discussing in the fourth commission plan, they came across various environmental issues and then they decided to form or to make a separate department for environment. What was the work of this department? This department stated various laws, started creating awareness, started passing on information about environment, started telling people that what is happening in the environment, what damage is being caused in the environment and what should we do to conserve the environment. That is the reason now we have campaigns like Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, no use of plastic, reuse, recycle, reduce. The three R's have been changed to seven R's. Reuse, recycle, rethink, reduce. All these terms together, they form. Why are they forming? Why are they removing information? Why are they creating awareness? So that the damage that the environment is, is facing should be reduced. There should be a solution to the damage that the environment is causing. Now, what is people's participation in this environment? What can people do? To stop environmental degradation. What can people do to create awareness, to tell people? So, awareness about environmental conservation, rules and laws should be developed for common people. So, what is this commission doing? What is this uh, department doing? This department is creating laws for the common people and after creating this law, it is publishing, it is telling the people to follow these laws. Large-scale participation of people in environmental conservation can bring about environmental protection and effective conservation. So, when these rules come into uh, come into being, then the then the people start participating in it, and when people start participating in it, people become aware and they start spreading on this message. When this message spreads on, the entire population becomes aware and starts thinking about the environment.
values like positive attitude towards environment and knowledge and quest for conservation should be imbibed right from school days that is the reason government has included this chapter in our syllabus because we should develop love and care for our nature for our environment before our parents environment is our parent as we studied in our first chapter darwin's theory of natural selection what did darwin say darwin said that the environment is choosing the best for survival the organism which is fit for survival the environment chooses it that is the reason we are living on this earth so who becomes a mother first environment nature becomes a mother first so when our parents are sick how we take care of our parents similarly when the environment is sick at today's date the environment is sick so we should take care of the environment we should take care of the environment we should see to it that the environment has no problems and if it there is any problem we should think of a solution for it like on today's part as a child i can take 50 rupees 60 rupees 100 rupees from my mom i can go to a nursery and i can take a plant and i can plant that tree in my area that is a small initiative that we can do in the entire year might be on your birthday on your parents birthday on world environment day on earth day during environment week take an initiative go to the nursery buy a flower pot or buy any other plant planted in your area planted in your compound planted in your house wherever you want to keep it this is a small initiative that you are doing on your part imagine one person doing it imagine the 50 of us doing it imagine your whole area doing it that is where you know environment is going to face a change and that is where we are going to that is where there is going to be a balance in the environment so these values if they are imbibed if they are given to the children from right from the school days they carry on these values till they die and they pass on these values to their children to the people they come in contact with increasing environment awareness through schools and college is essential it is very important that we start giving these knowledge these awareness from school and college itself every nation has their own future plans about environmental protection and for this purpose they have formulated the laws so what are they doing every nation has already planned for the next 10 years for the next 15 years so that is the reason they are coming across these laws and they are implementing such laws to the people so that people follow it and whatever plans they have done for the people in the next 10 years 20 years that plan come that plan becomes successful that is the reason various laws are been implemented swachh bharat abhiyan has been implemented say no to plastic has been implemented why for the betterment of the people what is our social responsibility as we know human and environment there is this is the interrelationship since the time human being has come on this earth so since origin there is this relationship between human and environment human being has become supreme on the earth due to his intelligence memory imagination creative ability etc so what is human doing the development that we see around this is because human has used his imaginary powers human has started thinking human has created memory he has become intelligent that is the reason we can find such a beautiful world around us but since a human started developing its brain environment also supported him that is the reason he could build he could think he could imagine something out of the box and now the world that we see around is due to human and environment coming together and planning things but now human has stop human has stop thinking about the environment that is the reason environment is giving back and telling us knocking at us and telling us please take care of me you have forgotten me all your we used to work together but now you are only thinking about your selfness needs for you to stay for you to get shelter for for your food you are cutting down trees you are cutting down forests but what is the result happening due to it there is increase in temperature there is increase in global warming so the environment is every time telling us by different different activities by different different calamities 
the environment is telling us please take care of me if you take care of me if you start supporting me we can come together and we can create a beautiful world maintaining the environmental balance is the duty of humans yes that is very essential point since we have distributed the environmental bal- disturbed the environmental balance only we should think of protection and conserving conservation of the nature so what have we done since we have disturbed the environment what is our prime duty now we should think of how we can conserve or it is our duty to think and start thinking and start taking solutions taking precautions of not creating damage for the environment there are these certain laws that the government has taken or government has enacted so for environmental conservation you have law in which you what is included in the law and what punishment is being given if you do not follow the law like we have forest conservation act this uh, law was passed in the year 1980 what does this law include it includes prohibition on the use of land which is reserved for forest conservation very important thing people started dis- destroying the forest so that they could build huge huge buildings over there shopping malls um cinema theaters why for you know so that the life the city life should increase but no government passed on the rules saying the land which is conserved for forest should be conserved for forests only there should not be any deforestation happening over there and if any of the person found doing this that person has to be imprisoned for 15 days the next act that was passed was environmental conservation act in the year 1986 what did this act include the act included control on control of pollution and act on the person or institutes that harm environment so any person or any institution that is harming the environment that person or that institution will have 5 years imprisonment will be behind bars for 5 years or a fine of 1 lakh rupees the third law that was enacted was national green Tri- tribunal that was passed in the year 2010 effective implementations of environment environment related laws that means laws that were passed you should take initiative and you should implement those laws in your life and if you don't do it there would be various court cases like if you do not follow uh, follow the law that was forest conservation act then you would have a court case and you would have a 15 days jail environmental conservation act if this law was not followed by the people then you would have a 5 years imprisonment or 1 lakh rupees fine so there are various other laws that the government has passed if you don't follow it then there would be various court cases you also have a law that had wildlife protection act and that wildlife protection act law had various clauses which was introduced in the year 1972 that was protection for wildlife then in that act there were clauses first clause was 49a that was complete ban on trading of rare animals rare animals were sold but trading was to happen so there was a complete ban on trading of those rare animals the next clause was 49b complete ban on the use of articles prepared from the skin or organ of wild animals so organs of wild animals or skin of wild animals they were completely banned that means no wild animals should be killed for any article purposes their skins should not be used their organs should not be used so that was a ban that took place in 1972 and there was a clause in which this particular law was written and that clause was 49b The next clause was 49C compulsory disclosure of the stock of artifacts made from rare wild animals so whichever artifacts were made from rare wild animals there should be compulsory disclosure that means there should be completely stop from these artifacts only these artifacts should not be made only okay and if any person or any institution or any organization found not following this law or not uh, you know banning this law 
then there were various punishments that were mentioned that every each and every law has a different punishment so court case might be there some might get an imprisonment some might get a fine of some 5 to 6 lakh of rupees so there were various punishments that were mentioned under this law a small example has been given in your textbook about jadav molai jungle you read that entire paragraph you also have a, a chapter in english regarding this person so you are aware about this story you just read that story and you will come to know that this person transformed a barren land into a jungle he used to work in the forest but then he took an initiative of planting trees and then into many acres of land he you know constructed a self man made jungle and that jungle after him is known as jadav molai jungle so there is a paragraph in your textbook you can read that paragraph and you can understand the entire story of this jadav molai man we are going ahead with the topic environmental management we are going to start environmental conservation and biodiversity what is happening environmental pollution affects the living organism and reduces biodiversity living world had a rich biodiversity this richness of biodiversity is getting depleted at a very high rate only due to various activities of human beings so what is happening this rich biodiversity that is there around is getting depleted as you can see in the picture that there is a before picture there is a after picture of the earth of areas where there were greenery around but now there are only buildings seen so what is happening we are not conserving the biodiversity we are creating damage for our selfless needs to make our life more easier and more smoother biodiversity what is biodiversity the richness of living organism in nature due to presence of various varieties of organisms ecosystem and genetic variation is called as biodiversity biodiversity occurs at the following three different levels first genetic biodiversity all the organisms belong to the same species but they have they are breeds of that particular species diversity among organism of same species the genetic constitution of each organism may be different as you can see in the picture i have given you all of them are considered as dogs but they are different species of dogs that different breeds of dogs so this is first genetic biodiversity next you have is species diversity diversity in the species of organism that occur in nature in nature there is this diversity there are various plants animals and microbes that are there they have a different uh, species like for example cactus some cactus are harmful some cactus are poisonous but some cactus are medicinal so this is called as species diversity various plants of animals various types of animals plants and microbes the next you have is ecosystem diversity many ecosystems are present in a particular region natural and artificial ecosystem as you can see in the picture the above picture shows natural ecosystem the below picture shows man made or artificial ecosystem where we are preparing dams and due to that dams there is a different ecosystem that is being formed we are constructing a building and there is a different ecosystem that is being formed right so these are three different biodiversities observed in our environment we are going to study about a uh, topic known as sacred groves sacred groves are nothing but areas saved under the name of god so these are green patches some green forest patches are conserved in the name of god by the local and tribal people these are considered sacred and hence the name is sacred grove these groves are sanctuaries conserved by the society sacred groves are special protection because they are conserved as god's name such patches of thick forest are mostly present in the western ghats in india more than 13000 sacred groves have been reported
how can biodiversity be conserved? Protection of rare species, creating national parks and sanctuaries, declaration of bioreserves, thus offering protection to resident species. What are bioreserves? These areas, this area is considered as bioreserve because that animal, that plant, that medicinal herb is been observed or we get it from that area only. That is the reason we by ourselves are creating that particular area as bioreserve. That means no person can go over there and harm that particular area. Conservation activities for all living organisms. Conservation of special species, species by carrying out projects. What should we do? We should carry out projects and we should conserve that particular species. If that particular species has become rare or that particular species has become in, endangered or extinct, we should take projects or we should take an initiative to stop <coughs> the use or we should restrict people from entering those areas and we should conserve that species over there. Strictly following the environmental protection rules. Recording and maintaining traditional knowledge. There are many state levels, national level and international level institutions that work for the conservation of the environment. Now we are going to study about hotspots of biodiversity. Where are hotspots seen in the entire world, in India? Where do we find hotspot or where a particular organism is being found? Like for example, kangaroos. Kangaroos are not found over the world. We find most of the kangaroos in Australia. So there are certain animals that have become hotspots, certain areas in the world in India have become hot spots of biodiversity. So highly sensitive biodiversity sp spots in the world is 34. Areas of the earth were occupied by these hotspots is 15.7%. Currently, sensitive areas that are destroyed are 86%. Presently, leftover sensitive spots on the earth are is only 2.3%. That means that area where you know biodiversity is observed or varieties of animals have been observed is only 2.3%. Hotspots spots have 1,50,000 plant species which are 50% of the world count. In eastern India, in eastern India jungles, 85 species are found out of 135 species of animals. So those species which are rare, which are endangered, out of 135 species in the eastern India, we find 85 species. In the western Ghats, about 1500 Endemic plant species are being found. Out of the total plant species in the entire world, 50,000 are endemic, out of which 1,500 is there in India. Now we are going to study about three endangered heritage places of the country. That is in India. First is the Western Ghats. Where do we find Western Ghats? We find Western Ghats. In Gujarat, where do we find Western Ghats? We find Western Ghats in Gujarat, Maharashtra, Goa, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Dams, deforestation, excessive fishing has created problems in those particular areas and the population of tigers and overall local environment is seriously challenged in that in the Sundarban sanctuary. Now we are going to classify the threatened species in the world. First we have is endangered species. Endangered species number of organism is declined. Habitats which can lead to extinction. And the organism that has been affected or 
the animals that have been classified under endangered species is lion tailed monkey and lesser florican these are the animals that are been uh, classified under endangered species the next is rare species considerably declined number of these organism endemic organisms may become extinct very fast and the example of this is red panda and musk deer these organisms are classified under rare species endangered species we have lion tailed monkey lesser florican rare species we have red panda and musk deer next we have is vulnerable species in vulnerable species we have extremely less number of organisms which further declines continuous declining number of organism is a threat so these organisms are continuously declining and now they are causing threat to the environment in vulnerable species examples are lions and tigers right we also have a movement called as moment called as you know save the lion save the tiger movement where the uh, number of tigers are been declining every day next you have is indeterminate species organisms appear to be endangered the data is not enough as they have a typical habitual habits first you have giant squirrel is one of the example and the state animal of maharashtra is shekru is also one example of indeterminate species we'll study about few points we'll, as you know 22nd may is observed as the world Bio biodiversity day international union for conservation of nature iucn prepares the red list red list contains the names of endangered species from different countries the name of endangered species are on pink pages the name of previously endangered but prevent presently safe species are on green pages so class we have completed with chapter number 4 i would be sharing activity based questions on vms it's a homework for you people to solve those activity based questions when the next video is uploaded i would be sharing answers to those activity based questions you need to check our school website for those activity based questions answers in the next science to lecture we would be starting with chapter number 9 social health before we start with the lecture you need to read that chapter and be prepared so that when i ask you questions or when the video is on you know what am i teaching you you are clear with the terms you know why is this topic be taught to you okay thank you have a great day